Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alva. As many of you might have noticed in recent days, I have been far more vocal about expressing my displeasure towards some developers and news sites. However, it has been a long time since I felt the cold fury that I felt back when I first dealt with Dentola Studios and that particular asset flipper's attempts to shut down my channel in order to silence negative critique. I will avoid yelling in this video. I will avoid cursing, because right now, expressing my own rage over what has continued to transpire serves to help no one at all. What will help is if those of you watching this video can take it upon yourselves to notify others on social media, whether it be fellow gamers, friends, or family of what is an ongoing situation. Also, if you wish to be especially helpful, I would ask that you notify other content creators and urge them to help spread the word on what is a completely amoral indie developer who continues to flagrantly violate the law in a continuing effort to silence negative critique of his own game and also of his own actions. If you haven't seen my previous video on this situation, I would suggest you stop and watch that now. While I will provide a brief overview of what was contained within that video, there will be far more detail in it. A Capital Gaming RP and its lead developer, Various Benson, reacted badly to negative critique. So badly, in fact, that they had issued a DMCA strike against one of Psy Syndicate's videos and had issued further threats against him that if he did not comply with their demands, which were the immediate deletion of all videos discussing their game's civil contract, that they would file separate DMCA strikes against those videos in a deliberate attempt to shut down Psy Syndicate's YouTube channel. In addition, they had demanded that Psy Syndicate contact Big Fry TV, who currently holds the most viewed video critiquing the demo of their game, and that he had 48 hours to follow suit, or they would also deliberately attempt to shut down his YouTube channel as well. A Big Fry TV then reached out to various Benson via Discord, where Benson issued an ultimatum that if the videos weren't deleted, then Benson would take down Big Fry TV's channel. Big Fry TV naturally refused, and then Various Benson relented once he saw just how much backlash he was receiving as a result of his attempted extortion, and the DMCA strike against Psy Syndicate was removed. Since then, Capital Gaming RP have continued to delete comments on the Steam discussions page that so much as mention either Big Fry TV's video on the topic or my own, as can be seen in this screenshot that, at the time I took it, showed two posts that had temporarily eluded deletion that included discussion about those videos, followed by this screenshot screenshot that shows all negative discussions of the game are now purged. In addition, as can be seen here, they have begun banning people in a continued effort to silence customer awareness in order to make a desperate attempt to prevent public awareness of their actions. As of yesterday evening, both Big Fry TV and myself were requested by a person named Jamie via Discord who claims to be the community manager for Civil Contract who had requested to have a discussion in an attempt to clear the air. I was skeptical, but ultimately accepted the invitation and was informed that I would be told of what time they would be available today. That call, or rather my involvement with that call, never happened, although apparently they did have a voice conversation with Big Fry TV while neglecting to involve me. Most likely because Various Benson believes I am of no consequence due to the relatively small size of my YouTube channel. In addition, between that discussion with Jamie yesterday evening and this afternoon, he had blocked me on Discord, preventing my ability to speak with him. A short while after that, Big Fry TV announced via Twitter that Various Benson had recorded the conversation without consent, which is an illegality under Australian law. And the reason why he knew about this was Various Benson had distributed that recording to Psy Syndicate, who in turn notified Big Fry TV and had sent him the copy of the recording. And no, for those of you already furiously typing away in the comments section, single-party consent is not applicable in this instance. Various Benson has violated the law. In Australia, it is illegal to record a private conversation without all parties consenting to its recording, with the exception of Victoria, Queensland, and the Northern Territory. So while yes, if Various Benson lived in one of those territories, he would be able to record the conversation without Big Fry TV's consent. However, even if that were the case, he would only be able to retain the recording for himself. Various Benson did not do this. No, he distributed that recording to Psy Syndicate, and the publication or communication of any recording of a private conversation is prohibited in all Australian jurisdictions. So put simply, Various Benson violated the law, and as a result, Big Fry TV will likely be seeking potential legal recourse. In addition to that, Various Benson has issued yet another ultimatum stating, quote, Just be aware, I'll take you down if need be. 
Further, Various Benson has also claimed that because Big Fry TV had recorded a conversation with a minor that he was somehow also violating the law and issued a further ultimatum in a continued effort to force the video down. This is, of course, completely incorrect, as where the recording is made very much matters in terms of international law. Where the alleged action occurs determines which country's laws are in violation. And in Canada, it is perfectly legal to record a conversation as long as at least one party on that conversation is aware of and consents to its being recorded. This is considered single-party consent, and it means that Big Fry TV was well within his legal right to record any conversation he is a part of. And the same cannot be said of Various Benson, who recorded and then distributed said recording within Australia, meaning Australian laws apply to his actions, and of which he is in flagrant violation of those laws. Various Benson deserves all of the legal ill that can potentially befall him, and I would urge all of my viewers or listeners to reach out to other content creators to help signal boost what this developer is attempting to achieve. Critique is a vital function for the video games industry, and it is critical within the indie games market. Even this video is a critique, not of the game itself, but of its developer. And when we are faced with a developer who would engage in blatant misuse of the DMCA in order to silence critique of his game, who would make threats, who would attempt to engage in extortion, who would attempt to silence and ban all dissenting voices, and who would engage in illegal behavior in order to prevent anyone and anything from shedding light on their actions, then there is only one thing to do. And that is to continue to make as many people aware as possible that this developer is unworthy of your patronage, is unworthy of your support, and is unworthy of your money. Whether it be to hide attention from being an asset flip, or to avoid attention being called to a scam, or whether to protect against the loss of sales due to a substandard quality of game and an even more substandard quality of character, these types of individuals are all the same. They use the same tactics, they engage in the same actions, and they invariably have very similar personality types. Now, I wholeheartedly and without reservation condemn Various Benson, his game, and anyone who supports him. People like that are a blight on this industry and should be treated as such. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.